Welcome back to Go Southern Alberta. Thank you for joining us. I am with Roxanne Dirksen, who is from the Medicine Hat Skating Club, and uh, you're going to give me a little bit of a lesson. Hell, I am in skates awesome. for the first time in two years. Oh. This will be interesting. Um, but first of all, I want to hear all about the skating club and what's going on right now. Well, right this year at our skating club, the Medicine Hat Skating Club, it is an awesome year. We are coming up to the Alberta Winter Games. Cassie O'Rich is representing our club, and she's skating fantastic. Then we have a Calgary Open. 14th and 15th of February and then we have an old competition which is really cool because all the little guys it's a it's an open meet so right from the little babies that are starting to skate right to our senior skaters get to go to it and it's going to be awesome but the big thing that we are doing this year is we are skating in Anaheim that's unreal we get to go to what's called the Glacier National Open and it is a skating competition that is internationally renowned and clubs from all over Canada states and even Mexico are coming in and we get to skate at their level we get to use their rules and so it's kind of a learning curve for us but I think it is going to be so much fun and you have quite the troop that's going to be going down there as well right yes we have 23 kids coming three coaches and lots of parents and little brothers and little sisters are all going so we should be a, a group of about 62 that's awesome. Now, you're also uh, sending some well wishes to the yes. team out in Sochi. You, you had mentioned, we were talking earlier off camera, that you're super excited about these Olympics because we have such a massive team yes. from Canada. Yes, it is remarkable. The team this year, the breadth of, of talent this year is beyond amazing. We have the biggest group of figure skaters going that has ever gone in the history of the Olympics. We have Patrick Chan, obviously, and Haley Joel Osman, who is amazing, both senior, both landing. Uh, Patrick Chan is being really successful. He had some trouble last in the 2010 Olympics with his quads, but this year he is hammering them out at Worlds. He skated fantastic. Kaylee uh, is skating amazing too. Her triple-triple combinations are beautiful. And she's got such a fun personality. You, you get excited. You're like, holy cow, that was awesome! Now we also have another skater um, in the Paris competition with yes. ties to Medicine Hat. We're going to learn about that a oh, little yes, bit later on in the show. Do. We'll talk about him. Yep. Um, but you had mentioned with the Medicine Hat Skating Club, you said there's about two 200 skaters in yeah. it, right? And that's with everybody. That's including our can skate programs, our power skating programs, our junior can, our junior um, star skate programs, and our senior program. Yep, there's about 200 kids. So if people want some more information, where do they go? The phone number is 403-529-0092. Excellent. Well, we're going to go to a commercial right now, but when we come back, we're going to do a little bit of a lesson. I need to learn how to skate backwards. Totally doable. All right, stick around right here on Shaw. Well, welcome back to the show. Once again, I am joined by Roxanne Dirksen with the Medicine Hat Skating Club, who is, I would say, a professional. <laughs> I am not. My jacket says it right there. Her jacket see? actually says professional coach, That's believe right. it or not. You have to and be. So you have you're to going to teach me how to skate backwards. I, am. I can skate forward. I can stop when I hit the boards. It's all good. I do skating at Leisure Center. That's pretty much it. So how do we how do we go backwards? All right. So for let's start at the very beginning. Say you'd never skated before, and we'll just talk about it. Pick your feet up and just I walk. like that plan. <laughs> just pick your feet up and walk. Just walk backwards, like you would walk outside in a pair of shoes. Just walk. Excellent. Good. Okay. The biggest thing you've got to remember: your shoulders are what steer your entire body. They're right. your handlebars. Okay. So too far forward. Whoop. Too far back. Ah. And you don't want to move your hands because nope. they'll they'll push you off your balance. Hands. That's right. Okay. So you just leave your hands beside you for when you're learning to start. Okay. So now you did that awesome. Seriously? Yay, high five. Oh. Okay. So now we want to introduce what's called the C cut. And the C cut is when you make the letter C on the ice. Lots of knee bend. Makes your life easier. Push, squeeze. Excellent. When we skate backwards, Physics says for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction. Yes. So if I'm pushing out to the side, my body's going to go this way. Yeah. So I want to think about pushing ahead of myself okay. to make me go this way. So our C cut actually happens ahead of ourselves. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to take you to the next level? We're going to do one more step. All right. So now we're. Gonna I'm not going to jump. I promise. <laughs> now we're going to add the cross cuts, and cross cuts okay. are an integral part of skating. So cross cuts help us produce power on a curve. So when we cross cut, we start just by sidestepping. Mr. Crab, I love SpongeBob. Okay. Mr. Crab, that's what we do with the little guys. We say we're gonna do Mr. Crabs. And we wanna have our hands up with this. Yep. Nice, lots of balance. Lots of balance. Our Canadian gloves. That's right. we are supporting Canada the Olympics. Exactly. Yay. All right, now we're gonna go back the other way and we're actually gonna do the crossover step. So we're gonna step, 
cross over and just balance there. Good, very good. Now step wide. Very good. A little more knee bend makes it easier. Cross. So now we just put it all production. We just move it a little quicker and balance a little bit stronger on the edge. Okay. And that's how you do back and cross step. So here, balance, push underneath, step, push. Now, this can... is why she is the professional. <laughs> so I have the jacket. <laughs> Jacket says. So that's a backwards cross cut, and that's backwards skating. Okay, now when you're first starting out teaching uh, young skaters, yep. I've heard hockey skates are actually a way to go. Absolutely. I advocate every kid that starts skating, no matter your age, hockey skates. The rocker on a hockey skate is a vastly different thing than a rocker on a figure skate, and we want to teach balance and how to stand on a pair of skates. Right. And figure skates have a flatter rocker, and hockey skates are more round. And it forces your body to stand up because it's called <laughs> cause and effect. Too far forward, bam. Too far back, bam. So hockey skates, I recommend every kid starts on hockey skates. All Absolutely. right. Well, I am going to keep trying out the figure skates. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, no bam. Hot in here. But <laughs> thank you so helmet. much. We'll find a helmet. <laughs> thank you so much, Roxanne, for this. I really appreciate it. My and pleasure. if you want to try out skating again, Medicine Hat Skating Club, you can find them online or give them a call.